This narrow ribbon of earth has become the most contested soil in Europe. On the far side, where the campfires burn, migrants who want to force their way into the EU. In recent days, they've congregated here at the border crossing. In normal times, a sleepy checkpoint between Poland and Belarusia. On the ground, on the Belarusian side now, and the Western media sent to cover the story are now part of it. It's mainly Middle Eastern men who are here, but the pictures fed back to London and Moscow and Washington and Istanbul often feature children. Kania migrants know they can't overpower 15,000 Polish soldiers, but they can pluck at the heartstrings of world leaders. Which is why what happened this afternoon was highly significant. It's quite possible this was the moment a handful of hotheads succeeded in thwarting their own invasion. If there were politicians in Warsaw thinking of throwing open the frontier, then images of migrants hurling logs and rocks is unlikely to have inclined them towards charity. The water cannon repulsed the assault, such as it was, but the damage was already done. The situation at the border is a battle of patience inside a war of media management. These images beg simple questions. Why would you wave someone through a border who moments earlier was trying to destroy it? Why would you reward someone who doesn't care where a rock lands with safe passage to a better life in Germany or indeed Britain? Some commentators will call this frustration, migrants freezing and starving and sick of being used as pawns in a dispute between Putin-friendly Belarusia and NATO member Poland. But what these images communicate is a sense of entitlement. We demand to be allowed to go where we want, regardless of whether that's illegal, regardless of what the inhabitants of the country being used as a demographic rat run think of the idea. There are people throwing stones, but also grenades. These grenades were not taken from Iraq, Syria or other countries. These grenades could only be handed over to those who threw them at the policemen by the representatives of the services of the Belarusian regime. So today was a huge setback for these migrants, but is it the end of the story? Perhaps not. Look at these images from another part of the border. Under cover of darkness, a Belarusian soldier is trying to create gaps in the fence for migrants to exploit. This may all seem a very long way off, but not if you are one of the British Army engineers who are now at this frontier, advising their Polish counterparts how to make the border migrant-proof.